Hey guys, it's Viron from Speak of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a watercolor piece. It's not quite my usual pieces where there's a character or stuff. We're actually doing something more still life-esque, I guess. But I didn't really draw this out of any real life reference, but I guess you can say it's still life. Um, as you know, or if you've been watching my channel, I like doing characters, character design, fan art, anime stuff in general. So I rarely draw other stuff like landscapes and stuff like that. But I actually did when I was in college. Um, mainly because they were for requirements and I had to submit them to class. You know, college or art school is there to teach you skills and to force you to try new things to step out of your box. That's what art teachers do. And it's supposed to, you know, push you out of your comfort zone, make you try new art styles and art forms. Maybe you might discover something. Or maybe you might learn something new that you can use in your usual medium, which is what I do. I learned so much in my graphic design course, especially with the painting and drawing classes, that even when I cross mediums, I still use them to this day. Either way, we're not here to talk about that. <laughs> so, I, I guess that's going to back out. But anyway, um, so I usually don't do still life. Um, I'm not particularly good at them. I sort of like doing them every now and then, though. You know, they're not my usual jam. In on my Instagram I sometimes post or I've done this once where I painted this landscape of the city with trees and it had like a perp uh, no, it was a ma like a magenta ish, pinkish to orange sunset. And that was actually uh, from a photo that I took of Ortigas, which is a business district here in the Philippines. I saw that view on the way home, I took a photo and I painted it some other time. I actually don't have footage for it because I painted that in the office and my office is pretty chill or it was pretty it was that chill back then and there was I don't think there was much people at that time and the, the operations were really low. I was in the office as sort of like a backup um pe person when everyone was out. So anyway, I won't get into that. I don't have footage because I painted it at work. <laughs> it's what I'm trying to say. I it was fine. It's fine. There's nothing busy going on anyway. But since I didn't have the footage, I wasn't able to post anything on YouTube about it. I just posted it one day and it's like, well, it's here, I guess. So I wanted to do something different again, randomly. And this piece in general, or in particular, stemmed from me buying the Spima Confections watercolor palette in the variation called Complexions. And the Complexions palette, I mean, as you can tell by the name, is meant to be for skin tones. Uh, it's meant to be a palette to help you with people drawing, I guess. I mean, if you like doing portraits and humans, this is a really, really great palette. I use them because I like drawing anime and characters and stuff like that. But when I saw the color swatches, when I did all of it at the end of the palette, uh, I mean, at the start, I, I'm a mess. Anyway, I when I saw the swatches when they were all completely dried, I really liked the color combinations. So I thought of this idea that was very summery, and it was focused around the color lemonade. And that's the pink color that you see on the palette. It's the one beside the gold. It's the second pan. So it's very pink. It's very sweet. It goes really well with the gold and the peach cobbler. Actually, I think it will look great with all of the entire set. I mean, it's a really good, well put set. And I thought, hey, I could do something pretty fun and summery with this. And when I thought of that idea, and when I bought the palette, it was summer. Except I didn't get around to making this piece until this year, which is a year after, and it's also summer. <laughs> Yay! I had some random content ideas around me. <laughs> so I've had this idea in my head for a year already. You'd think that by now I would have had a good gasp of how it would look like. But nope. I ended up with something quite different. So the idea really was I wanted like a cocktail glass with this cute bowl with some cherries and apples. And then I thought that maybe like with a white desk with a 
ocean background but that changed because I didn't use the Sakura Koi water color palette and the main idea originally was to use just the Prima Confections palette but because I wanted to go with the summery theme I felt like using the browns and the blacks would throw off the balance and it wouldn't look too summery so I pulled out my Kura Tahigan Saitambi watercolors uh, they were a gift from me from my parents they know they were the ones who started my obsession with art so it, they, they know what to get me so that's why I ended up with this sort of warmer looking piece and I didn't end up with the beach theme because the colors that I wanted to use for the beach was not in either palettes. They were in the Sakura Koi's palette. But I wanted to give that Sakura Koi palette a rest for a little bit. And I wanted to use Mikura Takes, so he ended up here, I guess. <laughs> now what can I say about the Pima Convections palette? I mean, this isn't gonna be a review. I don't have any prior research aside from what I know of or what I've watched from other channels. And this palette is old, this was released maybe a year or two ago by now. But in general, I do like them. It's a really well put palette. I feel like if you just bring this palette along, you would be rather limited in terms of colors. Especially if you're the type that likes using a lot of blues and greens and oranges in your paintings. But if you're the type that paints portraits, this is a really solid palette. It, it saves you a lot of time mixing and trying to get the, the right tones and all of that. I mean, I still would recommend learning how to mix colors, but you know, to each their own. So they all include a light, except for the pink lemonade, I guess, but they all include some kind of warm tone and cool tone of each color. So for example, we have Peach Cobbler, which is more on the cooler tone, and you have Chant, which is more warmer and darker. You have, um, let's see, Tiki, which is cooler, a cooler brown, and Unite, which is leaning towards, am I right? Yes, I think I'm right. It's leaning towards the reds a little bit more. Uh, coconut and Namaste. Coconut looks a bit warmer. Namaste looks a bit cooler. Um, some of them don't have exact matches, but you can mix them together anyway and you'll be fine. I really also like the gold paint that it comes. It's actually quite big. I mean, I was looking at the gold and it's a, a bit more filled up than the rest of the tints or the pans. Like sure, I use lemonade and peach cobbler the most, but I also don't use like Unite and Bear the most, but the metallic pan is quite full. It's nice. <laughs> and the thing I like about this metallic pan is that it acts like a watercolor in the sense that um, if you use less water, you'd obviously get more pigment. And if you use more water, it'd spread out more, as with watercolor. But I sort of expected something different, like with glitter. I thought it would work like glitter that no matter how much water I use, it would still have more or less the same kind of concentration. But it didn't, so that was nice. <laughs> Uh, the consistency of the paint, I would say, is a bit thicker than the Sakura Koi's um, based on how much water you use. Because I'm pretty consistent with how much water I tend to control out of my brush. And I've picked up the technique from from the pan paints, uh, from the tube paints to the pan paints to the Prima Convections and all of that. I feel like with the Sakura Koi, it's very water use in a way like the more you add water or you don't need so much water to get it to cover a large surface i feel like the prima confections is a bit stickier a bit thicker you need a little bit more water to get them to a certain this like coverage which is i guess it's fine it's it's fine it's nice it's a nice palette it's not a drawback it's just like a comparison based on feel but i like the palette in general um I feel like I should use the browns more. Yeah. So here's the preview actually. And since the scanned version won't show the nice goldy metallicness, I had to hold it up to a light and just shift the piece a little bit. But as you can see, it's really concentrated on the gold detailing. 
And actually the background also has some gold metallic on it, but you don't see it as much because I watered it down. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like or maybe subscribe if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt as well. And I'll see you around.